Hi guys, it's Rune, the math person. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to be bombarded with all these new videos, make sure you turn off that notification. Other than that, let's just dive right into this question. In this video, I'll be going over question 74 on SO exam P, so pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, I assume you're tempted, let's just dive right in. So they denote D to be the number of time in minutes. So minutes it takes to respond to 10 customers, right? So if we're looking for, and they tell you R is the average rate in customers per minute at which the representative responds to inquiries, and they say let F of R be the density function of R. So we have to find the relationship between T and R. So if they say it takes for T, the total minutes to respond to 10 customers T, we know that this is also equivalent to saying T over 10 customers is equal to minute, right? I just put the customers on the other side, 10 customers on the other side. And I'm just going to replace this min in here. So then you get R is equal to cost customers per T over 10 customers. Bringing that 10 customers on the top, you get this is equal to 10 over T. This is the, basically the relationship be between R and T is that R is equal to 10 over T. And you can actually verify this because we know that T ranges is going from 8 to 12. And we know the R range is going from these 10 over 12 to um, 10 over 8. So then we can definitely see that this range is exactly just 10 over 8 and 10 over 12. We know that this function is true. Then we can just do rock and roll. We can just rock and roll from here. We can do our normal transformation. So we can we know that f big F of R is equal to probability that big R is less than little r. And putting not R in there, this is equal to 10 over T is less than R. And we want to try to solve it in terms of little um this T. So it's a little bit easier. So this is equal to probability that bringing T on this side, you get 10 over R. What well, is the probability that big T is greater than 10 over R? Okay, and that's because we know what the probability distribution for T is. We know that T is uniform on 8 to, 10, 8 to 12. So we know that for probability distribution, we know for normal distribution, the probability function is just um, B minus A. So this is equal to 12 minus 8, which is equal to 1 over 4. That's our probability function. So putting it in there, what is the probability that t is greater than that number? Okay, greater than that number, 10 over r. And then t is actually capped by 12. So the the biggest number it could be is 12 dt. So putting in that, you get 1 fourth. Upper limit here is going to give you 12 minus 10 over r. And But this is equal to f of r, right, the big r. And we're asked to find the little r, which is exactly just the derivative of r. So taking a derivative here, you get 1 fourth. I'm actually going to simplify this a little bit here. 12 over 4 is 3 minus 10 over 4r. So when you take the derivative here, this is technically essentially the same thing as 10 over 4r negative 2, which is equal to 10 over 4r squared on the bottom. We can further simplify this a little bit to make it look out like our answer, 5 over 2r squared, which now corresponds to answer E. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!